Sponsored by Brilliant. Go to brilliant.org slash vector to finish your day a little smarter every day. Back in September, Apple invited Filmic up on the big iPhone 11 stage to show off something pretty damn spectacular, multicam video capture. It wasn't quite ready to ship back then, but it is now. I'm Rene Ritchie, and this is Double Take by Filmic, and also Vector. The iPhone has long been a terrific everyday camera. Something amazing happens. Your child, your pet, your significant other, the places you go, the things you see, and there's just nothing faster and more reliable in going from pocket to capture than the iPhone. But increasingly, the iPhone has become something even Hollywood directors and cinematographers turn to, to capture video. Not just in spaces too tight for traditional rigs, but now for entire films. Looking at you, Steven Soderbergh, twice in a row. While the built-in camera app is great for capturing those everyday moments, Apple has deliberately kept it simple and focused, yeah, haha, on exactly that. For pros, Apple's made a slew of API, application programming interfaces, that developers can use to make more pro-centric apps. We've seen it with photography, with manual controls, raw and depth data, and we're seeing it in video with rack focus and log. And now we're seeing it again with Apple's new Multicam API in iOS 13 and Filmic's new DoubleTake app. So yes, Multicam will be coming to the flagship Filmic Pro app later this spring. For now though, Filmic is putting it in its own free app so everyone can just take it out and give it a whirl. Because Apple requires that pretty much all iOS 13 iPhone apps support all iOS 13 iPhones, you can technically run double take on older model iPhones as well, but only in single take mode, which makes it just a really nice visual single camera selector. To use multicam mode though, you're gonna need at least an iPhone XS, XS Max, or XR. To use it with ultra wide camera, you're gonna need an iPhone 11. And to choose between all four cameras, the most Apple puts on a single device right now, you're gonna need an iPhone 11 Pro. With that, you can tap the camera selector to see a grid of all the cameras available to you, like a director's view, wide and selfie on the 10R, wide tele and selfie on the 10S and 10S Max, wide ultra wide and selfie on the 11, and wide ultra wide tele and selfie on the 11 Pro. Tap on the two you wanna start with and you're good to go. The first mode lets you capture video from both cameras at the same time as separate H.264 MOV files. It shoots at an impressively high bitrate 1080p at 24, 25, or 30 frames per second and an extended dynamic range, EDR. Why no 4K 60? 1080 is Apple's current limit for the multicam API. Hopefully that'll continue to grow as Apple continues to grow a series processing power. The first camera you select is shown full screen. The second camera as a PIP, picture in picture. You can't pinch or change the size of the PIP, but you can move it around the screen, hide it or take it full screen if you want to do something like tap to focus, adjust exposure or lock focus. If speed to output is more important to you than flexibility and edit, you can also choose to record a single file with the PIP just burned right in, like if you're doing electronic news gathering and you're on a deadline, or two up, side by side, or top and bottom if your video is vertical. With front and back camera selected, you can do things like capture a subject and your reactions to it at the same time, perfect for vlogging or event coverage. Or you could set it up between two subjects during an interview and capture both sides of a conversation, like for a video podcast. With wide and either ultra wide or telephoto selected, you could capture a subject and also get an optically zoomed out or zoomed in shot at the same time to show context or detail, perfect for, again, event coverage or travel videos. And because Apple fuses the cameras at the factory level, you generally keep incredibly consistent white balances, colors, and everything else. And that's basically the crux of Double Take, to give you access to twice as many cameras as you have devices. For a single person, it means doing by yourself what used to require grabbing a friend. For a crew, it means getting double the bang for every setup buck. Double Take literally doubles your creative options the moment you launch it. Yes, I'd love to see 4K60, but as dual camera baby steps go, <laughs> this is a pretty good leap. And again, it's available for iPhone as a free standalone app in the iOS app store. It will be coming to the Filmic Pro app proper as well later this spring. I did ask about the Android app and unfortunately, the developers don't have anything like the multicam API that just works across a wide enough range of Android devices to make it possible, much less viable right now. Hopefully Google and Qualcomm will see this though and make it a priority for Android 11 and future flagships though, even if they need to sign up for Brilliant to do it. 
Specifically, the new Algorithm Fundamentals course. Start with simple drag and drop exercises to get you thinking like a computer scientist about how algorithms are structured. Learn big O, conditionals, loops, arrays, and how to put them together into common algorithms for searching and sorting. Brilliant is a problem-solving based website and app with a hands-on approach with over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. It puzzles you, surprises you, and expands your understanding of the modern world. And all of Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, interactive challenges, and problems to solve. The best resolution you can make for yourself this year is investing in your STEM skills. So go to brilliant.org slash vector and finish your day a little smarter every day. Thanks Brilliant and thanks to all of you for supporting the show. I got to spend an hour or so talking to Filmic and watching their demos and a couple days shooting with Double Take. And I really like what I see so far. So much so I might even try to do some vlogging of my own with it, figure out just how far it can push it, where it stands up and where it still falls down and what I want to see from Filmic next. If that's something you'd like to see, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. Multicam that bell gizmo so YouTube will actually tell you when new videos go live and then hit up the comments and let me know. Thank you for watching. See you next video.